Cool. On a circus train. How about that? Yeah. Because huh? I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to look for something to, something to do. The next train car? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> the next train car um, is, is yet another. Uh, this one seems a lot nicer than the ones that the hobo clowns are sleeping in. Uh, as it actually has like passenger bunks in it that are installed into the walls, um, and there appear to be people uh, sleeping in these bunks. However, their particular circus profession is not discernible from their outward appearance. Uh, so it's really just sleeping people in a passenger car in a train. Okay. So they're all just sleeping. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's night. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Since this is a bit nicer, is there like a, a bar or anything? Like, you know, like sometimes the train cars have like little shit, like little shitty bars. That are like right there, there is potentially a bar car somewhere on the train. This is, however, just a passenger car. Just a passenger car? From the looks of it. Hmm. Hmm, strange. Everyone's asleep. I'm going to keep walking. All right. I mean, it I is night. It's not I don't want to deal strange. with sleeping people. Come on. Um, I can find the party animals. There is yet another passenger car after that one with sleeping people. Um, and I'm going to save a spoiler for you. The next car is also a passenger car with sleeping people. Uh, then I'm going to so keep going. You keep going. Um, <clears throat> after the third passenger car with sleeping people in it, um, mm -hmm. you come upon what is a, uh, a dining car. First of all is what it looks like. Um, nope. there, are, there are tables out where one could eat food. Um, potentially, uh, and beyond that is uh, what appears to be a, uh, a kitchen car for servicing the dining car. <coughs> uh, pardon me. Okay. And do you yet do you continue to go, or, or does the dining car or kitchen car yet interest you? Ooh, the kitchen car sort of interests me. Okay, it's clearly a kitchen uh, where food could be prepared Wonderful. in a train setting. Is there like a <clears throat> Let me go again with a bar. Is there a bar? Uh, there's no bar yet, but I mean, there could be alcoholic beverages somewhere here. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna shuffle around, look for some, uh, some booze. All right. Um, it's just you know, a useful thing to have. Are you trying to be quiet? <clears throat> Not particularly. Okay. You um, start opening refrigerators and cupboards, and uh, first of all, uh, you notice that everything is. Um, Strapped in because it's a train. Yeah. So, so, that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. are you unclipping things or, or are you just looking through things? Uh, are you making a huge mess, letting things hang wild, or are you just trying to find alcohol? Just trying to find alcohol. All right. Um, you find, after only a little bit of looking uh, before your 10 minutes are up, you find uh, cooking wine. Um, mm -hmm. sort of wine that would be used for sautéing meat, perhaps, cool. or, or that sort of uh, thing. Um, in, 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 yeah, you find that. It's, it's half gone, but there's some there. Oh, cool. Yeah, you found a bottle oh. of, of, of wine. Congratulations. Well, I'm going gonna, gonna to be holding that now. You are holding a bottle of wine. Congratulations. Ooh, rad. I wish to open the bottle. <laughs> you opened the bottle of wine. Bottle of wine accomplished. Um, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Don't leave us in suspense, man. Yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the uh, back to the hobo. You're going to go back to the hobos now. <laughs> yeah. Back right, to the hobo. You pass through. Um, it only took you uh, probably five minutes to, to make this little journey and to discover the alcohol. So the lights are back off, but it's clear that none of them are yet asleep um, when they hear the door open again. Uh, and you hear, God damn it! I said leave! We're trying oh, to no, sleep! I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but the, the, um, the gymnasts, they just wanted to give you guys this bottle of wine because, you know, they, they thought, you know, it was a mean joke and they just sent this down. So, here you go. What the hell? What? Yeah, no, oh. here, here. Yeah. So you're just handing off a bottle of wine to yeah, someone? Just, I'm just here. Just take it, drink it, enjoy yourself. This is just from the, the gymnast. They, they just wanted you to have this so you could enjoy yourself because they're very sorry about the prank. They don't turn the lights on. They grab one of the guys, the one you're talking to, grabs the bottle. It's like, all right, whatever, thanks. And, but he just sets the bottle next to his bed uh, and then tries to roll over and go to sleep. Um, 
<clears throat> yeah, so that is what happens there. It was it was meant for you guys to drink it right now. Uh, if you, I, the, the, yeah, I was, I'm just gonna be like, hey guys, there's a bottle of wine here right We're now. We're trying to sleep. It's the middle of the night. We got a show tomorrow. Why well, it aren't you sleeping? Looks like you're sleeping? having trouble sleeping. Um, Maybe this bottle of wine could perhaps help. We're you only sleep. having trouble sleeping because you won't let us <laughs> sleep, you fucking ding dong. It's, it's strange how alcohol could just fix all of your problems. Have you ever tried Pilates? I feel like Pilates <laughs> would really help your anguish. Do you want to roll a persuasion check to get them to try and drink the alcohol at this point? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm going to say, um, uh, well, I was going to say it's at a minus one. And you may want to spend willpower, but it's because uh, the way that you're trying to persuade them to drink alcohol is kind of suspicious. So, uh, but anyway, you fail regardless, um, which means there is now a test for control. Way to way to be ahead of the curve there, Dave. Uh, I like it, go getter. Um, <laughs> oh, we lost somebody. We lost Hemlock. Yep. Oh, he'll be back. He's, he uses wireless, so it's like... Every once in a while he just craps out. Well, unfortunately, yeah. I, he's the one who didn't send me a, a willpower so mm. bid. So we're, the game's ground to a halt while we wait. Uh-oh. Sorry. He's back. Who's back? You are. You are. You dropped. I need your willpower bid. Um... Put your mic closer, by the way, too. Um. <laughs> All right. I need uh, a roll of a D20 from Dave and Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Be done, motherfucker. Come on. I hope he does after all that smack talk. Ah. Oh, so close. Dave wins yet again. Oh, boy. This is the perfect time. Yeah, this is the perfect time. Uh, so, uh, having failed to persuade this hobo to drink alcohol... Um, <laughs> Why would they do that? Because they need to go to sleep, Hemlock. Uh, anyway, you flutter into consciousness, uh, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, you're back in the hobo car, having remembered being punched in the face... Um, but not remembering what came after. You're now at a different part of the hobo car. Yep. Um, and uh, the hobos appear to be trying to get back to sleep. Uh, does my face hurt? Your face still hurts a little bit. I want, I want to start. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you punch Eduardo? <laughs> God damn it. You and dare. then I want to open the door. Um, and run through it, the, back through the, uh, the, uh, the, where the clothes were. All right, you do. Um, and, uh, you maybe hear it faint. What the fuck was that in the uh, distance? Um, and you are now running through the, the clothes and props. Yep. Car. I want, I want to run, I want to run as far as I can. So I want to run until I get to, um, the next door. Uh, well, maybe like if it's pe if it's like cabins and stuff, I want to go until I find another human. Well, yeah. So the, <clears throat> through the next door, you will find more sleeping people in a, okay. a passenger car. All right, I want and to three three cars after. Uh, are there men or women in here? Both. Okay, I want to shake a shake a woman awake. <laughs> oh, Jesus, God damn! <laughs> what? 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 You hear some girl uh, that you're you're shaking awake. Um, Young lady, can you help me, please? A man assaulted me in the previous room. Wait, what? Who are you? Who? What? My name is Who's Eduardo, and I must admit, your perfume is quite intoxicating. But there is a man in the other room. He. What? What kind of man? Is, some, is somebody on a train who shouldn't be on train? Yes, he's quite, he's dressed like a vagabond. Wait, is it just the clowns? What happened? Did you get in a fight? Who are you? What? I was simply admiring the man, and he punched me in the face. Can you believe it? That, that sounds <laughs> awful, but I really... Uh, and I to... want to cross my hands in my hand, like I, I previously did to uh, the hobo. Uh -huh. And I would say, can you please help me, young lady? You look, like, you, look like the, you look like the helping kind. That's why I, 
I chose you I for Wake. Don't I? I don't. I don't know what you need. What I just was asleep. What do you? What do you? What are you I doing? I want to embrace her now. In a hug. Yes. Like like as like. I need comfort. <laughs> you embrace this woman who uh, fights against your embrace um, somewhat, uh, but not violently. Okay. Does uh, she hug me back? Does she, like, pet my back? No, she doesn't hug you back. Okay. She's still really confused as to what the hell is going on. Eduardo is embracing. <laughs> is, there, is there a safe place Eduardo can sleep for the night? Dad, don't you have a bunk on the train? I did, but the man assaulted me. You're supposed to be... So she sort of flutters into consciousness. You're supposed to be sleeping with the clowns? I don't, and, and they punched you, and now you're waking me up and yes. touching me? I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to cause offense. I just needed someone to talk to about this. And I needed somewhere to go. <laughs> Are you, are you one of the gymnasts? I am, yes. Okay, that explains some of this. Uh, <laughs> Can you... I, I, I'm, 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 at, I'm all flustered. Can you tell me where the gymnasts are? <laughs> Listen, yeah. sweetie, she says, uh, mm -hmm. and she pats your head um, somewhat condescendingly. Uh -huh. um, the gymnasts sleep in the first passenger car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want to grasp a hand again, and I want to shake it, and I want to, <laughs> and then I want to, um, thank you very much. And then I want to go to the first passenger cabin, please. You do. Okay, I do. Um, and then when I enter, I want to go, oh, woe is me. Eduardo is hurt. <laughs> like, I want to say this out loud. So <clears throat> in, in the gymnast cat, uh, passenger cabin, mm -hmm. you out loud say, Eduardo is hurt, what was me? Yeah. Um, Alright, so you wake up several people who start shuffling out of their bunks and the lights go on. I'm like, who the heck are you? Why are you wearing those clothes? I look down at my clothing and I'm like, oh, this... I I've always wanted to wear sequence vest yeah. and riding cropped of the uh, ringmaster. Yeah, I've always wanted to put this on. I took the opportunity tonight to try it while everyone was sleeping. And okay. Yeah. What, 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 what's wrong, sweetie? Yeah. One of them says. <laughs> I, I want to. Um, I want to sort of. The, the one who said that I want to rush in for a hug. <laughs> All right, you rush in and hug the the uh, the, the the spry and, and gangly woman who. Uh, who said that? And you hug her, yeah. and she she hug. Oh, there, there. Now tell me what's wrong. Um. Uh. So then, Eduardo. Uh, Eduardo was punched in the face by the vagabonds in the third chamber. Oh, those mean clowns! What What did you do? What did they do? I simply wanted to share what I was wearing. And they punched me in the face. Oh, that's okay. Uh, and you get several reassuring pats of, of other um, uh, prissy gymnasts. Apparently, they're all very in touch with their emotions. Uh -huh. uh, patting you on the back. And, and uh, in general, there's, there's a consoling and uh, comforting atmosphere in the room. Okay. Cool. And then I was like, finally... Oh, someone who understands me. And then I want to like, I want to like shake the hand of every single person in there. I want to, I want to like linger my hand holding as well, if at all possible. Um, I want to. You can shake the hand of everyone in the room. Mm. Um, uh, you, and and you do that, uh, and everyone is shaking hands with you very, uh, uh, very. I guess would be the better word for it. Yeah, there's 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 a loving atmosphere in general, but as you as you uh, pass through the sh hand shaking, um, you uh, someone starts to uh, pipes up. But who who are you again? I am Eduardo. I am one of the new gymnasts. We don't we weren't told about a new gymnast. Ah, uh, yes, it was the last stop they picked me up from. The last stop was a couple days ago. Where have you been? I have been here. Have you not noticed me? No, I can't say that I have. Oh. Uh, well, allow me to make introductions. My name is Eduardo Rodriguez, and I am a gymnast from Spain. 
<laughs> and, and and one of the um one of the girls who doesn't appear particularly bright um mm. oh i thought i placed the accent she's really happy with herself because <laughs> she believes that she uh figured that out in advance mm. yeah. um so you can tell um and one of the other people looks very concerned. Oh, well, we don't have a, an extra bunk for you. That's, that's, a, that's a problem. I know. That is why I was in with the hobos. And I like, I like make fo- uh, uh, fake cry, you know, sort of thing. Oh, that they never should have put a gymnast with the hope, the clown vagabonds. That that was never going to work. Those those fools. Um, someone says. Why? Well, we'll just have to figure out something for you here for the night. I am uh, very appreciative. Thank you. Uh, and someone like you know, someone tries to rustle up some an extra blanket or something, and, mm-hmm. and give you a spot on the floor next to one of the bunks, uh, yeah. and uh, and uh, a, a spot is quickly made up um, <coughs> before they uh, uh, insist that everyone go back to bed because there's a show tomorrow, um, and uh, and and some some quiet mumbling about what exactly Eduardo is going to be doing since the routine is already planned out. Um, that is sort of hushed as people go to sleep, uh, and <laughs> uh, you have a spot on the floor next to someone's bunk. Uh, I I would like it to be next to the woman who placed my um, um, my accent, if at all possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can you can um, effectively uh, 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 sit. Sleep next to that at uh, her, or lie down next to her bunk. You have you have done so. Mm-hmm. The lights go off again, and people start settling it in for the night. Um, um, so, am I able to command like full asleep? Like, how does that work in this game? Uh, well, are you doing nothing for ten minutes? Um, well, if I fall asleep, what happens? Does a test for control. Okay, so it literally means like okay. All right. Um, if John loses unconsciousness, there's a test for control. If you do nothing for ten minutes, uh, I do a secret roll to see if he falls unconscious. All right, but he usually so, does because the odds are. So I, I want to, I want to sort of when everyone's sort of settling in, maybe after a few moments, I, I turn around to the woman, and I and I and I say to her, um, oh, in a hushed no. tone, <clears throat> I'm like, I'm very thankful for what you've done. It's it's okay, sweetie. It's, 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 you know, we're we're always happy to welcome a newcomer. Um, what is your name, fair maiden? Jezebel. Oh, that is a lovely name. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Where? named for my grandmother. Oh, that is quite lovely. And then I, uh, oh God, how do I fucking do this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I I want to. Uh, what color is her hair? Blonde. Oh, God, I can't believe I fucking picked this character. Um, okay. <laughs> how how long is her hair? Out of curiosity. Uh, it's long hair. Okay. It's like, uh, how? Your hair is lovely. Why? Thank you, darling. Hmm. Um. Uh, at this point, it's like, can you tell me more about the gymnast? I'm, I'm new, as you've already worked out, and I would like to know more. Oh well, there's there's Steven and Jessica and Frankie and Brenda and and Billy and oh oh gosh I can't I can't ever pronounce the last guy's name correctly it's it's got like a um uh uh a a, a, a hashtag in it no it's got a <laughs> <laughs> it's got that line symbol thing that goes in between the Hashtag. and it goes over the words and it changes their sound or something like that. I it, it starts with a C. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm like nodding. I'm like wide eyed, just like sort of staring at it, like nodding everything she says. She seems uh, really pleased that you're listening to her. Um, it's it's possible that that's not standard for her. Yeah. being listened to. Um, yeah, she's quite pleased. And it's like, so how long have you been in the gymnast, in the, in, the, in the traveling troupe? Oh, I've been doing gymnastics since I was a little girl, and I joined the circus as soon as I could. As, as soon as I turned, uh, uh, she starts counting on her fingers. Um, 16? No, 17. 19? She's not sure. 
clearly. Uh, she starts to trail off. Yo, uh... God, this is so fucking hard to do. I didn't realize this when I picked the character, by the way. Um, I turn back and I'm like, your body is well maintained. What is your routine for exercise? I must know how you keep so thin and trim. <laughs> <is> well maintained. <laughs> Well, well, the thing is, John is not supposed to be actually competent, um, as competent as a normal person. So having a flirt, uh, flirt John, would would ob he would obviously be bad at it, as yeah. bad as you're being. Yeah, um, that's why I'm doing it like this. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, well, basically, we just run the routines over and over again, and that pretty much, that pretty much handles it. Um, you know, I try to try to eat right. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. Um, so I so I only eat uh, uh, fish and uh, and uh, carrots and 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 what are they? They they've got a spe they, It's like it starts with an L and legumes? and it's yeah that's it legumes I eat legumes I love legumes <laughs> uh, I think and, uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like it's like and then I want to I want to. I went to quiet her down for a second. I was like, I, I hope you don't mind me being too forward here, but you are quite stunning. Oh, it's so lovely of you to say you're quite, um. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word? All right. Well, the, the ringmaster's clothes don't really fit on you. Um. <laughs> I, I know, I... <laughs> I saw them and I was and I was so dazzled by their appearance. Still wearing the ringmaster's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> All right, so here's here's what I want to do. Um, I. <laughs> Why did I pick this? <laughs> it's a good question. Well, Dude, um, I, I was playing some uh, some background music on the guitar. Yeah. Uh, All right, so I, I turned back to her and I was like. Would you mind if I steal a kiss from you tonight? Oh dear! Oh, blush. Um, uh, plus one. She says that. <laughs> no, the blush is not. Uh, uh, that's that's physical. Plus one to this roll for. Uh, Come on! Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! <laughs> she's clearly still. F she's still flattered. That doesn't yeah. not happen. Yeah. But she's, no, no, that would be. It, wrong. Uh, that's for control. Um, <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, big. Oh man, big money. Uh, so I need a, a D twenty roll from Dave and Hemlock. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, roll a one. Roll a one. Uh, <laughs> You are now only at three willpower, Hemlock. Um, this is true. Wow. You gain control, uh, and you you seem to be uh, on the bed of a woman um, in the train car, uh, and she seems to be blushing and shaking like her what, head. I like what you've done, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. <sir. laughs> She's a gymnast. She's a gymnast. <laughs> hey, uh, do you remember what your name was again? I didn't quite catch it. Oh, I'm Jezebel. Oh, Jezebel. That's lovely. That is a beautiful name. <laughs> You've said. You've said. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the animals? Yeah, every, every show and every almost show? all the time, constantly. Yeah? yeah? Well, I was in there earlier. Yeah. And the really? bear, I thought it spoke to me. What? Bears don't yeah. speak. I you I know, crazy. I know that, I know You're that. Crazy. You're crazy, why? I'm crazy, come on. No, I, uh, I, 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 thought, I thought it spoke to me, I don't know, I, I shared. Do you want to come with me to check it out? Do you mean like spiritually or, or something? Yeah, spiritually. Because I'm a Virgo, or oh, is it really? a Cancer? And um, they're supposed to be very spiritually aware, except for <clears throat> sometimes or something. I, for, I forget, but I always read the... Uh, Astromenagely, um, yeah, part yeah, of the, the yeah, the yeah, yeah. Oh, you're into astromenagely too? Astromenagely, <laughs> absolutely. Oh my god, we've got so much in common. Do you want to? Do you want to? Would you? 
would, would you care to come join me? Well, you want to go talk to a bear? Yeah. We've got a show tomorrow. We really need to oh, get to sleep oh, no. and not be talking to bears. No, it won't take very long at all. Let's come on. Let's go. It'll be fine. It'll take five minutes. Five minutes tops. You just, oh, you just want to go. In, okay, well, let's just go back. Well, I don't know. I should go to bed. Give me a persuasion roll. Oh, okay. Man, Caleb and Jacob, what are your characters doing? I want to see this. I want four. To see How does a four do you? Ah, you've got this. You've got a skill that's relevant. So Ooh. she is like, well, okay. <clears throat> Since uh, <clears throat> my astronomer logically says that I'm sometimes adventurous but sometimes timid, I guess <laughs> I'll be. Astronomer <laughs> logically. <laughs> I guess I'll be adventurous uh, today. Shit. Uh, and she she gets up. With with you, and we'll go back to the um, the animal car with you, which you are now yeah. there. Cool. Is the bear awake? Um, the bear is asleep, um, and in a in a in a in a effective cage. Uh, what do you mean by effective? It, it it's not got like a big a human sized uh, gap in the bars that you could. It's it's a it's a sturdy. And effective and well-sized and humane uh, c- cage for a bear to be living in. Uh, so there's a is there a lock? I'd imagine there's a there's a lock. Yeah. Or is um, there a locking mechanism? Is it like a like a click open with a key or like a you know slide slide slide? It's not slide slide slide. It definitely has a key um, necessary. Okay. What's because you know, cage? it's a car- it's a ba- it's it's the cage of a bear. Like you know, there's not going to be just sliding mechanisms to open a, a bear's cage. I mean, have you ever seen a smart bear? Don't answer that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> the circus bears they can like run on balls and use unicycles and stuff. Uh, they're they're smarter than the average bear, um, I'd say. Smarter than the average bear, I'd imagine. Um. So, are there keys around? Can I look around and be like? Ooh, that is going to be a perception check roll, but if you um, fail it, there's no test for control. Um, oh, yeah, sure. So for a perception check roll, I won't, I won't make you lose control um, to fail okay. that. 1d6 or 1d20? Yeah, 1d6. Three. Yeah, um, I don't think you have a relevant skill to improve. Um, um, so. Yeah, you don't really have a relevant skill to... Uh, is, perception check for keys. Um, so you don't find one when you look. I have no uh, idea what your character is doing, Kyla. Oh, you'll see. It'll get there eventually. Oh, I think I think he knows where I'm going with this. Um, Jacob, you muted, by the way, man. Probably for this keeps half happening. Load of time. Yeah. This, I I already know where this character is going, and I'm scared. <laughs> oh, so, you know, no. Jacob, from earlier, I think that you may be projecting more grim dark. Than the character is, but anyway, keep going. Eh. I'm locked. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I think you may be going a little. You know. Anyway, so. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. Let's see. So it's a, just a key, right? Like, uh, yeah, it takes a key. Just a, a normal key lock. Uh, I'm gonna look lock. for like something like a. Pick the lock. What? Pick the lock. Yeah, I want to. I want to find something to pick the lock with. Okay. Um. Just you know, any, like, does she have a hair clip or? Like, yeah, totally. She has hair clips that you can deftly, uh, Brad, and by deftly thanks. I mean you're sort of like rummaging in her hair, and she's like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Oh no, I just need to take this hair clip for a second. I'm gonna just give me a second. Okay, like, are we gonna talk? To- the bear seems to be sleeping. I don't think we. Can- I know, I know. Give me a second. Like, I got this. Don't worry. Just stay right sleeping here. Sleeping bear, like your astrology Shh. sign. Yeah, like my yeah. It- yeah, the sleeping bear is my astronomology sign. Oh, well, oh, wow, that's so beautiful and poetic and moving. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pick the lock. You're like, you're like you have the soul of an artist. <laughs> I'm going to pick the lock. And I think I have a sort of relevant skill. Ah! No, you don't. Uh, really? <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> yeah, your skill has nothing to do with lock picking. 